Hey guys, Get Level here, and uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a dope looking starting soon screen with a picture of yourself. Now the reason why you see me wearing the headset is because I was about to edit this video that was already recorded, but then I realized there's no sound. It's the second time OBS is doing that to me. It's like a one hour video, it's crazy, but that's fine. We're gonna go through it. Basically, I'm gonna be taking a picture of myself and then putting it into Photoshop, creating a cool starting soon screen with it, and then we'll bring it into Streamlabs OBS where we will add some animation and make it animated straight in the broadcasting software. So you can do that with Streamlabs OBS. You can also do that with uh, OBS Studio. You can probably tell that I switched up my microphone. I'm using the Mono AU A04. <laughs> that bad boy right there. If you wanna see a full review of this microphone, click on top of your screen right now. But anyways, right before we start doing the editing and the taking pictures and all of that, a message from our sponsor. This portion of the video is sponsored by Owned. Owned is your one-stop shop for everything customizable for live streamers and content creators. They have everything that you can possibly think of customizing from your profile picture, your banner, your offline image, your overlays, your alerts, your emotes, your subscriber badge, and everything else. Okay, let's say you're trying to make sub badges. You can either check out the pre-made ones, and there's a lot of them, or create your own using their badge maker. Just pick a style you like. Let's go with that first one. You can add icons, numbers, characters, whatever you prefer. Let's add a smiley, for example. Boom, let's select the color. Let's go with yellow. It's like the second one. Add a hat. And do the same thing until you have all the badges you desire. Look at all the icons available. You have the characters and all the numbers. They also have a channel trailer maker, but I'll let you guys figure that out. All you have to do is go to own.gg slash gal level. That's o w n 3 dgg slash gal level. Okay, I feel kind of dumb right now because I recorded the whole thing, but I guess this is going to be a time lapse with voiceover. Uh, it's better that way because I don't want this to be a step-by-step -step tutorial. The goal here is to help you visualize the creative process of creating something like that. It starts by simply taking a picture and stylizing it until you get a result that kind of looks good. So, <laughs> that's just me talking. So that's me doing the intro. I don't think you need to see all that. Okay, move on, move on, move on. Okay, so I take that picture of myself and then I just cut myself out uh, of the background. You know, I try to get the hair to be, you know, to, to be cut out, but I'm, I'm having issues with the new Photoshop Refine Edge tool. It's not even called Refine Edge anymore. I, I don't like change, okay? <laughs> but anyways, uh, you can see me getting up and, and going to grab a drink in between. Anyways, so I, I, I had, I add this blue background and, um, and then we're gonna add some rectangles, top and bottom. We're gonna rotate them. That's like an easy button to make things look a little bit, a little bit cool. Uh, uh, I always say di diagonals are always uh, the easy button for the graphic designer to make things look um, more designed than normal rectangles, you know? So um, I spent way too much time looking for a font. This is part of the creative process too. You have to learn that part. There's no way you can just pick a font. So I settled on that one and then I tried a couple of gradients. Uh, I like the contrast between yellow and blue, but you'll see in a moment that I actually ended up not using this at all. So I'm adding a little bit of shadows. I want to separate it from the background. I want you to really feel like it's separated. Um, bevel and emboss. I have two drop shadows, one that is harsh, that's the black one, and then one that is kind of soft uh, and at a distance. So I added this uh, rectangle at the same angle as the rectangles top and bottom. I added a bunch of them, put them behind uh, myself, so the, the main subject, but uh, I think I get rid of this in a bit. And then I don't I don't remember. But anyways, I also show that you can go to a website such as um, Pexels or, or Pix here to get um, stock footage. Basically, this is stock images. So I just type grungy texture just to add a texture. And I created a new layer, painted some blue, and made the blending mode um, to color. So here I'm using the cutout filter in the filter gallery for uh, um, in Photoshop in the filter gallery. So it's a kind of like an easy mode of making things look stylized or even drawn if you have to. I was just readjusting my mask right there and I added an outer glow. Um, 
uh, I added that texture to the text so it would look pretty good and then I just played around it a lot until I had something that I was satisfied with so I wanted to put some particles behind me just to kind of motivate that glow that's coming from behind me so I would go and just you know place a bunch of um, ink splashes with the with the main brush tool and then duplicated that background a little bit. I added some blur to that background, sized up a uh, version of me. I changed the blending mode on those particles. And then I really wanted to add some blue to that text because I felt like we were missing that blue. So what I did is I added the white part of the bevel. I put that in blue. So it looked a little bit more, uh, um, more faithful to the color scheme. Then I just found a bunch of sparks on um, pics here, those are Creative Commons um, images that you can use. And then I just duplicated them, a blending mode was screen or add. And then I looked for more and more and more. And then I decided to go with a light leak. Light leaks are also an easy button. I think the goal here is to show you how to, how to easily create something by just smashing a bunch of stock footage, stock images together. <laughs> then I save this. So technically here my image was done. So all I had to do is go ahead and open up Streamlabs OBS, bring it in there. And then I went to pexels.com. <laughs> and um, what I did here is find something that had like a black background that I know I, I could key out the background. Uh, so I would go to filter, I would go to color key and then uh, play around with it until I was satisfied. Um, spoiler alert, I was not satisfied with this one, <laughs> so I ended up changing it, but you can see the process, you play with the similarity until until you find a result that um, that is satisfying. Then I decided to go with that, um, with that one instead, and I ended up really, really, really loving the results. I'll probably show you more of it, and that's me recording the outro. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna post the PSD for sure in my Discord, so with the PSD, you'll be able to kind of see what I did to uh, make the original image. But when it comes to the animation part, all I did is find something, you know, that 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 was kind of satisfying, that was that would loop. And then I added a color key filter in Streamlabs OBS, something that you can also do in OBS Studio, for example. OK, so uh, there's no magic here. I know it's not a step by step tutorial, but the, the, the thought is 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 here. Technically, you learn how to make any image or any overlay animated by uh, by watching this. So PSD will be in the Discord. Uh, the link will be in the description. I'll probably post a video of the final result here to let you know how it uh, how it looks like. And if you have any questions, please feel free to to ask. If you would like to see a, a really a step by step tutorial, which I don't I, I don't know why you would want to see that, but I could do it. Okay, just let me know in the comment section below follow me on social media and if you don't have time to create your own starting soon screen you don't have photoshop you don't want to get into it that's completely fine you can go to gumroad.com slash gal level and then find all the overlay packs that i made for you most of them are actually completely free and the rest is very 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 i'm talking very very affordable so um, go there, gumroad.com slash get level if you're looking for overlays, the banners, profile picture, whatever. And that being said, I will see you guys next time. Sorry if the whole process was rushed, but I did not want it to be a step-by-step -step tutorial. Uh, anyways, so I guess it worked out well. I recorded for one hour and 40 minutes, and now it was compressed into a five-minute time lapse. <laughs> Anyways, thank you again. Leave your comments in the comment section below. I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud. Get level out.